one, three, four. Okay, another thing that I want to touch on in terms of getting all of the patterns, getting your fingers fluent with the patterns, but then also getting the patterns pieced together because they're kind of like a puzzle. One pattern has to fit exactly so with the next pattern up the neck or you'll end up playing in the wrong key all of the sudden and you'll be hitting bad notes all over the place. So let's take a look at some, some methods of practicing that particular uh, situation. I'm going to start with that same pentatonic pattern, okay? My main pentatonic shape, okay? The next shape up the neck, in that same key, this pattern, okay? I'm going to move between the two patterns. I'm going to take just a fragment of the one pattern, play it, slide up into the next pattern, play that backwards, down, and then slide back down. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm only going to play the, the two lowest strings in these two patterns, and I'm going to go back and forth, up, down. Okay, watch this. Okay, I played those four notes in our main shape, and then I slid my hand up to be in position to play in this pattern, right where it belongs in relation to my first pattern, okay? Okay, but I've already played that note, so what I'm going to do is slide right up and grab that note with my pinky, and then come down to that note, down the scale, and then jump back down here, so... It's teaching me, it's helping me to just totally memorize and lock into my brain and my hand the distance from here to here so that I can go and play lead sections and lead patterns between those two patterns, between those two different scale patterns without messing them up, without going, I went too far on purpose there. Do practice like this if you just work on getting the two patterns hooked up it'll help you a lot okay now you might also want to do that say with three strings let's do it that way okay so I'm playing up three strings then sliding to the next pattern and playing down those three strings, okay? That kind of a thing will really, really help you get these patterns together, all right? And then you might want to do the same thing on the top end of the pattern up here on the high strings. So watch this. Okay, what I'm working on here, I'm playing the top end of my main pentatonic pattern the top end of it is like so, and the top end of the next pattern includes these two notes, okay? Okay, so what I'm doing is... from the one pattern into the next adjacent pattern, getting used to those notes, just working them out in my mind, okay? Once you've done a bunch of that with, say, these two patterns, then you might want to do it with...